Welcome to the 20 watt fiber laser unboxing and setup video. Uh, in this video, I just got a 20 watt fiber in from Omtech Laser and I will go over everything from what comes included in it and also how to set the machine up. The box itself that the fiber laser comes in is pretty solid. It's a full wood box on the outside and inside is a ton of padding that keeps everything nice and secure um, to prevent kind of damage while it's in transport. Right here is one of the base units that the lens will attach to the platform, uh, your marking area. And this will be the marking area that I was talking about. This is the platform that holds that stand up and then that stand connects to uh, your main lens. Um, so here you'll see this is the actual fiber laser unit itself. Um, down below that tower case, uh, that's kind of like your power supply. And then what I'm holding right now, um, that's my lens. Um, and so I'll attach that to that base that I first pulled out of the box. So there's also a bag full of goodies here. And inside this bag is your user manual. You have your power cord as well as the foot pedal switch, which comes in handy if you want to automate your process. There's the ground wire. You also have a mounting bracket for like an LCD screen. Um, you have your USB cable to connect to the computer. And then you also have some protective glasses. Now, this isn't a closed unit, so it's really important that you wear the glasses. This will protect your vision, uh, just in case there's any sort of bounce off. You also have a tape measure. This will help um, get you the bright focal distance. And then your Allen keys, which will help you set up your machine. So now that we have everything out of the box, let's go ahead and get this inside. We'll get it unwrapped and we're gonna start setting this thing up. The first thing you wanna do is get the main stand uh, in place where you wanna kinda of install the machine. Um, this unit will help give some stability to the main column that we're gonna put right on top of it. Um, I made a first mistake when I was setting this machine up is I actually screwed in the main column that I'm unwrapping right now first and it made it really difficult to line up the lens uh, and install that section because they use these screws in a track slot and the track slot's really hard to line up from um, looking at it upside down, of course. So it's easier, instead of installing that column unit first, go ahead and just install that lens to the bracket that's on that and then uh, go ahead and screw in the main column to the bottom platform. So since my desk is kind of cluttered with some monitors and a little smaller, I decided to keep the power supply, the tower, down below and then just weave up that black cable from behind uh, and install it that way. Let's take a peek behind the machine. Here you're gonna see your main connections. On the top left, you'll see the black cable that runs up to your lens. On the right side, you'll see your USB connection that goes straight to your computer. Then you have the four prong plug-in, that's your foot pedal switch, and then your power cord right down below that. Now that we have everything plugged in and ready to go, let's go ahead and turn it on. Go ahead and hit those three green buttons, the main board, the scanner switch, and the laser switch. Make sure they all turn on. Then before you load a file, pull off that lens cap and you're ready to start engraving. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned from it. Um, if you have any questions that I didn't cover, feel free to drop it in the comments and I will get back to you. Uh, the next video that I'm going to do is going to be more on the software side, getting an easy CAD set up, your driver installed, uh, getting your first file loaded, and then finally doing your first engraving. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, that will be coming out very soon. Thanks.